Hello, and welcome to this comprehensive training session on VPC-157, a peptide that is gaining recognition for its potential in tissue repair and healing. In this session, we will cover the mechanism of action, clinical applications, dosage protocols, risks, benefits, alternatives, and patient considerations for using VPC-157. Additionally, we will review three clinical case studies and recommended laboratory evaluations to ensure safe and effective use. Let's begin. BPC-157, short for Body Protection Compound 157, is a synthetic peptide derived from a sequence found in human gastric juice. It is a 15 amino acid peptide known for its regenerative and anti-inflammatory properties. BPC-157 is unique because it supports the healing of soft tissue, tendons, ligaments, and the gastrointestinal system. It has shown promise in accelerating recovery from injuries, reducing inflammation, and improving gut health. While BPC-157 is not FDA approved, it is widely used in research and integrative medicine due to its safety profile and extensive evidence from animal studies and anecdotal clinical experiences. BPC-157 promotes healing through several mechanisms. Angiogenesis stimulation, it promotes the formation of new blood vessels, improving blood flow and oxygen delivery to injured tissues. Collagen synthesis, BPC-157 enhances the production of collagen, which is essential for the repair of tendons, ligaments, and other connective tissues. Anti-inflammatory effects. It reduces inflammation by modulating cytokine activity, protecting tissues from further damage during the healing process. Cytoprotection. BPC-157 protects cells from damage caused by oxidative stress, toxins, and inflammation. Gut mucosal repair. It accelerates the healing of ulcers and intestinal injuries, making it valuable for conditions like inflammatory bowel disease and leaky gut syndrome. These combined effects make BPC-157 a powerful therapeutic tool for treating musculoskeletal injuries, gastrointestinal conditions, and chronic inflammation. BPC-157 has been used in various clinical scenarios, including soft tissue injuries, tendon and ligament tears, muscle strains, rotator cuff injuries, chronic joint pain and inflammation, osteoarthritis, overuse injuries, gastrointestinal disorders, gastric ulcers, inflammatory bowel disease, example Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, intestinal permeability, leaky gut syndrome, nerve healing, promotes regeneration of damaged nerves and peripheral neuropathy, post-surgical recovery, enhances tissue repair and reduces recovery time following orthopedic or gastrointestinal surgeries. Benefits. The benefits of BPC-157 include accelerated healing of musculoskeletal injuries including tendons, ligaments, and muscles, reduction in chronic inflammation and pain, improvement in gastrointestinal health by repairing the gut lining and reducing symptoms of inflammatory bowel diseases, potential neuroprotective effects that support nerve regeneration. Patients often report faster recovery times and improved function, even after chronic or treatment-resistant conditions. Risks. The risks of BPC-157 are relatively minimal but include mild injection site reactions, such as redness or discomfort, rare gastrointestinal upset including nausea or diarrhea, hypothetical risks due to lack of long-term human studies. To mitigate risks, it is essential to educate patients on proper injection techniques and ensure the peptide is sourced from a reliable and reputable supplier. Alternatives. For patients unable or unwilling to use BPC-157, alternative therapies include physical therapy and rehabilitation for musculoskeletal injuries, anti-inflammatory medications such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs in SIDS, platelet-rich plasma, PRP, or stem cell injections for tissue repair, dietary modifications and supplements such as glutamine and zinc carnosine for gut health support, BPC-157 can be administered either orally or via subcutaneous injection depending on the clinical application. For musculoskeletal injuries, subcutaneous injection near the injury site at a dose of 250 to 500 micrograms, once or twice daily. For gastrointestinal issues, oral administration at a dose of 1 to 2 milligrams daily. Duration of treatment. Most protocols recommend 4 to 8 weeks depending on the severity of the condition and the patient's response. 
As with any peptide therapy, dosing should be individualized based on the patient's weight, condition, and treatment goals. Before starting BPC-157 therapy, the following laboratory tests are recommended to ensure safety and guide treatment. Baseline testing, complete blood count, CBC, comprehensive metabolic panel, CMP, inflammatory markers such as C-reactive protein, CRP, and erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, condition, specific testing for gastrointestinal issues, stool analysis including calprotectin levels, and intestinal permeability testing for musculoskeletal injuries, imaging studies such as magnetic resonance imaging, MRI or ultrasound to assess the extent of the injury, monitoring, periodic testing of inflammatory markers to track progress in response to therapy, patient reported outcomes such as pain levels and functional improvements are also essential. Case study one, chronic tendinitis in a runner. A 35-year-old male presents with chronic Achilles tendinitis that has not responded to physical therapy or anti-inflammatory medications. Treatment protocol, BPC-157 subcutaneous injections, 500 micrograms daily near the Achilles tendon for six weeks. Outcome, by week four, the patient reported a 70% reduction in pain and increased mobility. At six weeks, he returned to running without discomfort. Case study two, gastric ulcer in a patient with NSAID use. A 50-year-old female with a history of NSAID use presents with epigastric pain and endoscopy confirmed gastric ulcers. Treatment protocol, oral BPC-157, one milligram twice daily for four weeks. Outcome, at four weeks, the patient reported complete resolution of symptoms and follow-up endoscopy showed significant healing of the gastric ulcers. Case study three, post-surgical recovery after rotator cuff repair. A 60-year-old male undergoing rotator cuff surgery seeks to accelerate recovery and reduce post-surgical pain. Treatment protocol, BPC-157, subcutaneous injections, 500 micrograms daily, beginning one week post-surgery and continuing for eight weeks. Outcome, the patient experienced faster than expected recovery with improved range of motion and minimal post-operative pain at six weeks compared to typical recovery times. In conclusion, BPC-157 is a promising peptide with significant potential for healing and tissue repair. Its ability to promote angiogenesis, collagen synthesis, and cytoprotection makes it valuable in a wide range of conditions, including musculoskeletal injuries and gastrointestinal disorders. While its safety profile is strong, it is critical to perform appropriate laboratory testing, tailor treatment protocols to the patient, and monitor progress regularly. By incorporating BPC-157 into clinical practice, you can provide an innovative treatment option for patients seeking faster recovery and better outcomes.